Hi everyone, today I'll be introducing Voice App Activate AI speaker Kakao Mini. I'll be covering features of Kakao Mini and some downsides of it. It is a simple square shaped speaker but functions as an IoT device and personal AI assistant that answers all of your speaking questions. It is a Bluetooth and the other functions just like Google Home, Apple Siri, Amazon Echo in America, but they have difference. Let's figure out what they are. This product includes a durable plastic mini doll and in the box there are cacao speaker, instructions, cable attached power adapter that connects with the speaker. Price of this speaker is approximately 110 US dollars but it's mostly on sale so actual price is 64 US dollars which is a pretty reasonable price. The size of this device is 110mm long, a 76mm wide with a black fabric covered and it's only 380g which is very tiny and light. The performance of this device is pretty impressive as well, it's got 2 inch full range speaker with 4 channel microphone and Bluetooth 4.2. Kakao Mini can blend with any place in your home. The simple design looks natural in the kitchen, classy on a table, and cozy looking in a bedroom, so literally everywhere in your home. Although it is assistant speaker, it will be mostly used as a music player, which indicates that sound quality is very important. From personal point of view, the sound quality of Kakao Mini is much better than the second generation of Amazon Echo Dot or Google Mini. But I'm sure the Google Home or Apple HomePod got much better sound quality than Kakao Mini. So this is how it sounded when we recorded with the phone recorder. Next, to explain further about Kakao Mini, it is essential to talk about what Kakao Company is. Kakao is one of the largest IT company doing business on mobility like Uber, searching website like Google, and Messenger app. Just like WeChat of China, or WhatsApp in America, most of Korean smartphone users are using Kakao Talk as mobile messenger app. This is where the cool part of Kakao Mini comes up. Based on the Kakao Messenger app, users can send, receive, and make a memo by a Kakao Mini speaker. This is very attractive as many other companies are trying to use AI speaker as messenger but failing it as they don't have a proper platform for it. It's like sending and receiving Facebook message by the AI speaker. Let me show you how Kakao Talk Messenger works on Kakao Mini. Users can use it by saying Then on the Kakao Talk app, a little box appears that shows it was sent from the speaker. The speaker can also read all the messages you recently received. Thank you for watching on Kimi Bui. There are more cool functions as well. Kakao Mini can connect with Kakao Mobility to call a taxi by just asking the AI speaker. Also, there are services such as food ordering, IoT, banking service, but I'll skip it as it must be connected with the certain devices or services. So, here are overall attractive ports. First, Kakao Mini isn't the first AI speaker in Korea, but it is very cost efficient and functions are quite fantastic. It has all the functions that other AI speakers have, but some of them are exclusive that we couldn't see from other AI speakers. Also, the messaging by voice is an extraordinary function that most of AI speakers don't have. 
and the sound quality is not overwhelmingly good, but it's good enough to use it at any place. But from a personal point of view, there are some downsides as well. Following your opinions are subjective, so it may differ by people. First, it is a shame that this speaker is Korean oriented. For a case of Google Home, they can change the language so it's international which is a definite advantage. On the web, they play to US price for non-Korean users, but ironically the speaker can't use English. For another, there is no internal battery, so if you accidentally unplug the device, you have to plug it again and wait until the speaker is rebooted. Other AI speakers do not also have the internal battery in the speaker, so it can apply to the old AI speakers, but it is quite annoying. Lastly, compared with other Korean or American AI speakers, the natural language process is much slower, so users have to ask the question and wait for 2-3 to three seconds to receive the answers. Despite of all the downsides, Kakao Mini is quite an attractive device, but I'm sure they have to solve these problems to compete with other Korean or American AI speakers. Today we've gone through the features of Korean AI speaker Kakao Mini, and next time I will come back with other cool IT devices. Thank you for watching the video, and if there are any Korean or Asian IT device that you wish to know, please comment below, and hope to see you again.